that opportunity is not what you should be doing, trust your gut and don't do it. Even though you really want to get into the industry and you really want the job, you really want to do something else, just trust yourself, another opportunity will come. What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. I am stoked. I'm sorry for the shakiness of the camera and, and all of my erratic movements because I might have had one, two, a certain amount of drinks. I don't know, but I'm being wine and dined right now, okay? This is the life right now. I don't know why this is happening, but I do know why. But I haven't been able to fill you guys in on what's going on. If I was like this cool videographer, I would have put like a countdown right here from fucking day one of when this shit started and it was originally 90 days and then it got updated to like 120 days and my term date went from September 15th no August 15th to September 15th and then some more stuff happened but let me just kind of try to recap that because it's gonna be a quick video so I can give you guys an update on what's going on so obviously you guys knew that I was in multiple interview processes but nothing was going on with Novartis I then had an opportunity to interview for a role with Novartis and that actually extended my termination date. As long as you're in their interview process, every pay period, so that's a two week period, they extend your term dates. That's six grand people. So of course I'm gonna be in one of those interview processes, right? Like to go interview with somebody and they're gonna pay me six grand? Like who gets paid to interview? Yo boy. But back to what's going on um i didn't get that job so now i'm like oh shit what's going to go on with my life and i'm in final processes with uh two other companies and i completely bail out of those i literally uh turned down an offer and i, I just wasn't feeling it i was listening to my gut and then i get to the final interview of another one they want me to fly out to dallas and uh go do a final interview and again I just had to listen to my gut. I was like, I, I like the idea of this opportunity, but I don't believe that this is what I need to be doing next. The money was pretty much in the right place. It was going to be more money than I'm earning right now, but I just didn't feel like it was the right challenge for me. So I want to just stress to you guys that you have to trust yourself. You have to trust your gut and know what it is that you want to do. And, and hopefully you're not in those positions like I have been before. I have made this mistake and I will tell you right now, it is a mistake. If you feel it within yourself that that opportunity is not what you should be doing, trust your gut and don't do it. Even though you really want to get into the industry and you really want the job, you really want to do something else, just trust yourself, another opportunity will come. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you know that I've been traveling around. Like here I am in a big ass like King Suite. It's got like a whole, I mean, let me turn up here, a whole kitchenette, like all this stuff. And it's because your boy's getting wine and dined right now. I'm in the interview process and they like what I got to offer. They like the schmoozing I've been giving them. But no, nah, like really it's it's just the fact that I as I as I tell you guys, you've got to prep for your interviews. You have to be ready and know facts and different things about the person that you're interviewing with and then utilize the person that just interviewed you to give you more information for the next interview you have to network your way through these processes but also showing them that you are a trustworthy like catch that they want to put on their team and that is what i've done uh i've been flying around meeting different people meeting different customers and really getting an understanding of what this industry is because What's wild is I'm not coming in as like an entry level salesperson. You guys have no idea how many different med tech people I've had side conversations with. Like the amount of you guys that reach out to me and ask for, you know, a freebie conversation, that was me. I was asking for a bunch of freebie conversations. But you know what? If they're not offering, you know, consulting fees, I'm taking up that freebie if I can get it, you know? But you guys consulting be like in, in you know the comments below hit me up but in reality i'm i'm having conversations with, with these people i'm telling them you know what my pay is right now like what i made this year what i'm what what i would be making if you know my job wasn't ending all that stuff and they're all telling me dude you're gonna take you know another pay cut now like, fuck me 
like another pay cut. I've already gone through that whole nonsense. Like I thought I was finally in the industry that was stable and I was going to be making good money and et cetera, et cetera. So here I am networking, building relationships with these, with these people. And they're telling me, obviously I'm going to be taking like a cut back to get into like an AE role account executive. And I'm like, done. You guys voted for it. You told me to get into the tech industry. And I'm like, I want to take on a new challenge because I'm not feeling challenged right now. So I'm in. And here I am like applying for all these roles and I come across this opportunity. And as you guys see, if you're following me on Instagram, if you're not go and follow me, I am now posting, you know, more daily content of what is going on. And I am getting, you know, flown around. Uh, then some of those were for different interviews, but getting flown around wine and dined. And I'm excited because this opportunity is not for an AE role. No, 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 no. I know you guys are like, <laughs> this fucker, he's going for a BDR, business development rep. No, not that either. I am currently interviewing and going to get the job, putting it out there, manifesting this shit because that's what you guys should be doing. I am going to get the regional sales director role. Put that into your mindset, okay? When you think about what you want to do, don't say, I will get this. I am this. That is what you are. But I am going to get the regional sales director role. And why is that? Because this company, it's building its foundation right now. So I'm coming in essentially on the ground level. They they tried with some other uh, regional sales uh, directors and it just didn't, it didn't work out. They are having to like kind of restructure and the background that I brought, the interviewing that I did, the charisma that I bring, the type of culture that I also fit into, all of those things, that's what these startups are looking for. They're, they want to make sure that you're the right fit. And I really meshed well with them. Again, feeling it in my gut. I'm like, this is the opportunity that I want. I'm putting all my eggs in this fucking basket. And that is what I did. I really went in. This was something that I started pretty much at the beginning of this journey. Again, if I was an awesome videographer, I would count down from when it started to where where we are now in like negative days because I keep getting extensions. And it has been through countless follow-up. Telling you guys right now, follow up. If you didn't hear back, send something else but you have to send it in certain different ways so that you don't you're not a pest you want to make sure that you come off professional but also in like a new age way if you guys want my secrets i don't have any i was literally just doing what i do but my follow-up the ways that I was following up and asking for some more time, the way that I was asking for what the next steps were, the way I was interviewing, the way I used them as my next key opinion leader, my champion. Hey, I know you're saying that I'm gonna have an interview with this next person. Can you tell me what they're like? What are their interests? What's their family look like? Just whatever they're willing to give you so that you can better yourself but regardless like they flew me out I went to a corporate event and just meshed well again this is a small startup company and I meshed well with like everybody so I was really excited this was where I want to be and this is what I'm putting my eggs into and this is what you guys told me to get into I asked you guys should I get back into the bias should I find a new biotech opportunity or stay in the pharmaceutical space or get into tech and I kind of got the best of all the worlds because it's not just tech sales this is med tech and if you guys are keeping up with med tech you would know that in 2021 angel investors and just investors in general put 40 billion dollars into this industry B billion they want a return on that So obviously this is a great place to be and I'm going to earn this role. So I just wanted to give you guys an update on what is going on, 
why you guys are seeing me travel. You guys are asking me to give you an update. I didn't want to just give you another, hey, here's me applying for some jobs, you know? <laughs> it's going great. And like, you can see like my soul is dying. <laughs> some of you guys actually messaged me and commented about like how you guys could see like my demeanor change. I just wasn't my happy self anymore. So I hope you guys like can see like this weight lifted off of me because uh, you know, the conversations that I'm having like, this is a lot that's going to happen, and uh, I'm excited to take you guys on this journey. They are actually appreciative of, like, what I do on social media and stuff like that, so this is, I feel like it's going to be, like, like this, you know, just a nice snug fit in my soul. But if you guys are wanting 